Hello! Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Chrissy. Nice to meet you. If you're existing, welcome back. Get cozy, light your candles. I hope you've got your Christmas tree up. I haven't. Who am I? If you haven't guessed by the title, this is what I'm getting my two girls for Christmas this year, aged seven and five. So if you're looking for affordable gift ideas for girls, some of them might be classed as a little bit unisex, then look no further and I'll share with you what I've got. Also, stick around at the end and we'll have a little catch up, a little chat as always, but I'm not gonna waffle, I'm just gonna get straight into it. Disclaimer as well, there's so many different ideas on here. I don't know about you, every year I really struggle what to get my girls because they're not into anything specific, if that makes sense. Like some children are into a certain brand of toy and they just want every single thing that toy. That's not the case with my girls. So yeah, if you're looking for a little bit more inspiration, a little bit of ideas, then yeah, I've got it all for you. Got a huge Argos bag here. There's no buy more rhythm to this. There's no um, list as such. So I'm just going to make my way through this bag. These aren't stocking fillers. I'll probably do a separate video on that if that's something that you want to see. Mouse in the house play sets. Never seen them before. My eldest, Lola, who's seven, has requested these. But actually, they're really good. They're, they're what I would call a grown up play set. So we're moving on from Peppa Pig World play sets. They come with like a little house, you get the little figures and they're all miniature and they're really affordable as well. Sorry for my ring light, it's a little bit bright today. Really affordable as well. From Argus, I'll pop all the information in the description box along with the price. I don't think there's many items in here that are over the £20 mark. So yeah, if you're looking for budget friendly ideas, these are really cute and you can collect them. And if you look here, you can collect them all and there's a little display of them all there okay this is a must for me if you have girls even boys as well it's gender neutral in a sense you can get so many different kits we love kinetic sand in this house it's really easy to clear away it doesn't really cause too much mess the sand doesn't dry out if you're not sure what kinetic sand is it's essentially playing with sand but it has a little bit of a different texture to it and it doesn't, it's not sparse like sand, it's essentially together, but apart, that's probably not explaining it very well. But it's really, really easy to clean away and it never dries out. So I thought I'd stock them up on two, one for each. I've got this one, which you've just got the mould, so you can make cute little keepsakes and it comes with five different colours of sand. I've also got a unicorn one because my youngest daughter Lily is obsessed with unicorns so she'll like playing with that and this one comes with a tray as well so it's great for toddlers if you want to get it out on the table and you don't really have anything suitable you don't want them to play with it on the floor at least they can kind of aim to keep it in this little container and you can store it in the container as well because it doesn't dry out. So yeah definitely highly recommend that. And before we go any further in today's video, I just want to thank today's sponsor, which is HelloFresh. Um, I've absolutely loved working with HelloFresh, and if you're interested in what they are, I'll insert the little advertisement here. Fed up of what to cook for dinner and looking for some inspiration? Then this is for you. Today's video is in collaboration with HelloFresh. HelloFresh is the number one meal kit provider that delivers straight to your door. HelloFresh has everything you need to take the stress out of home cooking while saving you time and reducing food waste. With over 44 recipes to choose from, if you're like me and fed up of cooking the same meals, switch things up and try something new with HelloFresh today. There are step-by-step -step recipe cards matched with the pre-filled bags with everything ready to go. They have delicious winter warmers, perfect for those cosy nights in. You can also choose a rapid recipe ready in just 20 minutes or less. Perfect for myself as a busy mum and Christmas fast approaching. This frees up my meal times to work on the endless Christmas to-do list and it's allowed me to get bits done. And of course, HelloFresh, I've given all of my lovely subscribers a discount code. Use my code, I'll pop it on screen, MUMSCLUB50 to get 50% off your first box and 35% off the next three plus free gifts. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for collaborating with me and I'll pop all of my information in the description box down below if you wish to check them out. Thank you for watching that if you're still here and like I said I'll pop all the information for HelloFresh in my description box so feel free to go and check them out and if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Back with the haul. 
Barbie, because we've got to have a Barbie at Christmas. This is a Dreamtopia Barbie. She's a mermaid. She's beautiful. And I really, really recommend actual Barbie rather than the cheap ones because the hair stays intact. The Barbie stays intact. I just think they last a little bit longer. But obviously, if your child's Barbie obsessed, you're going to mix it up a bit, aren't you, for affordability reasons. Completely get it. But yeah, Lily's going to love playing with her. I like to get the girls a game. Both of mine have requested sink, in, sink and sand game. Don't really know what it is. I just know it was on their list. Looks like it comes with kinetic sand. Brilliant. So you roll the dice, you pull a stick out, and don't go down with the quicksand. So they're going to have endless fun with that. Love to get a few board games in because it's actually something that me and... Their dad, grandparents, and that can actually interact with. Um, some people struggle, don't they, to play with games like this. I, I do, for sure. So I know this will go down well. We love to play games on Christmas. It's a little bit of a family tradition in the evening. We get the games out. I love getting Monopoly out. Hands down, who loves Monopoly? I do. <laughs> and, yeah, another one, I got her the juice bar as well. I thought I'd treat her and get three so she can collect them all. This was one this year. This is a very popular one. It's a chameleon bright light and it's the little live pets. They always ask us something to do with this every year. My kids love them. Um, this was quite reasonable. I think it was £18, which wasn't too bad. Okay, I'm back. I just had to do a quick rummage to the boot. Next item. This is actually on sale in Smiths. My youngest is absolutely obsessed with sensory toys. A lot of children are. If you're not sure what they are, ultimately... I'll try it. I'll open the box. I think someone's already opened the box show you probably should have got Lola one of these as well it's just an array of little it's just an array of little sensory toys balls widgets for example I really like playing with them really random or no um, but my youngest is obsessed with anything sensory so yeah, I picked this up, it was £7.50 in Smith's, which I didn't think was bad, as they're a good couple of quid for one normally, and that's shopping around. So I picked this up, because that would be a great little present. And then to go in their stocking, which I mentioned earlier, I picked these noodles. Essentially, they're a sensory toy. They had them a couple of years ago, I really loved them. Especially if you've got anything like a tough tray and your kids are into arts and crafts and things like that. These are a no-brainer, they'll really like them. Stretchy, twisty, giggly, piece set. And then they've both got an R Generation doll. I really think these, I think these are really, really sweet. This one comes with pizza, little pizza hat, a little pizza cloak. And they'll just love dressing them and dressing them. They're just really into the R Generation stuff. It can be quite pricey, but shop around because there are some bits that go into sale. And I think Lola had a camper van a few years ago and she absolutely loved it. The only thing I will say is the bits are teeny tiny. So not good if you've got a baby or a toddler. Um, that might put them in their mouth and they do get lost because that's what happens in this house with teeny tiny things like that but yeah i really think the quality is good for the our generation and the dolls last the test of time as a little dupe i did open one yeah here we go but as a little dupe if you don't want to spend a fortune on the clothes and accessories that come with it argos do a designer friend collection where you can buy outfits, and this was literally seven pounds, and they fit the doll. So this one's a little penguin, and you get hat, you get earmuffs with it, little penguin outfit, a little gem, all sorts of bits and bobs, literally for seven pounds. So that's a good little hack. Spend more on the doll, but you can get cheaper accessories by shopping around, having a little look in Argos. Um, so yeah, they're both going to have one of them and there are a few bits that I haven't bought yet because it's so early on in December I haven't literally had the chance but I will be getting them some colouring bits because they absolutely love that arts and crafts, they're absolutely obsessed wrapped behind me in this present here <laughs> which you would have already seen me wrap up is a slime making kit much to my dismay, I absolutely hate slime because it ruins every single surface in the whole world I've not found one yet that doesn't but it was on a list so, yeah, Santa, I'll blame Santa for that one. Um, and they also want the washable pets, which I'll pop a picture here for you to see. It's essentially a little, 
it's a little set of dogs and different animals and you can colour in them in and then pop them in the wash and then reuse them and recolour them again. They love anything like that. So I'm going to get them quite a few surprises. So I might do a little bit of a part two to this. I'm not going to impulse buy as much this year because I'm a little bit more mindful of what we're spending. And with the problem is with my children is their interests don't really change. So I kind of know what they like. I know what they're going to play with and I know what they're not going to play with. So I'm going to go to places like B&M, Poundland and places like that, fill this up, they'll have some chocolate in there, some sweets, some colouring, some paper, some cards, some pens, some arts and crafts bits, things like that, just the generic bits that quite a lot of girls and boys really like. But yeah, that's everything. Like I said, if you want to see a part two, if I'm popping in and buying any more bits, then please let me know in the comments down below and I'll do that for you. However, I do want to put a little disclaimer, I'm not showing off, I'm not bragging. If this is far too much for you, or equally might not be be as much as you buy your children, not here to judge, you do you. And I completely get that times are tough for everybody this year, and some more than most. Even me, myself, I'm finding things, inflation is just absolutely ridiculous. Gas and electric, if you're not from the UK, utility bills are going up, mortgage rates are going up, rent is increasing everything's just going up so I think everyone's kind of been a little bit more mindful and I completely get that this time of year can be really tough for some people so I just wanted to let you know I'm not showing off in any way but people have requested for me to share so I'm going to share and also it might help some people with some ideas because some of these are quite reasonable um so yeah if you're still here at this point thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already I'd absolutely love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel I post here two times a week all things motherhood lifestyle haul related content and I'm also pregnant with my third baby so I've been documenting my journey I've got quite a few pregnancy vlogs and things like that coming up I've only just started feeling a little bit more human hence why my uploads have been a little bit more stretched out and less consistent so I do apologize for that but I don't want to come on camera when I'm feeling horrendous and equally I know you guys won't want to see that however I've got a first trimester vlog coming soon I do cry a lot into my phone <laughs> and on camera um but yeah like I said thank you so much for watching I will aim to put two videos on a week December's such a busy month I'm so excited for Christmas I don't know about you I don't have my tree up though and I'm fuming about it we're off to London this weekend as I film this will go early next week um so I'm hoping to get my tree up on Sunday fingers crossed it's just busy isn't it don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up also it's such a small gesture that you can do it goes such a long way and it helps my youtube channel out massively so i'd appreciate it if you could give this video a big thumbs up and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one i hope you're having a lovely day and i'll catch up with you soon much love